Today is day 140 and we're going to read 1 Chronicles 10 through 12, John chapter 6, verse 45 through 71. Chapter 10. Now, the Philistines fought against Israel and the men of Israel fled from before the Philistines and fell down slain in Mount Gilboa. And the Philistines followed hard after Saul and after his sons. And the Philistines slew Jonathan and Abinadad and Mal Chishua, the son of Saul. And the battle went sore against Saul, and the archers hit him, and he was wounded of the archers. Then said Saul to his armor bearer, Draw thy sword and thrust me through therewith, lest these uncircumcised come and abuse me. But his armor bearer would not, for he was so afraid. So Saul took a sword and fell upon it. And when his armor bearer saw that Saul was dead, he fell likewise on the sword and died. So Saul died, and the three sons and all his house died together. And when all the men of Israel that were in the valley saw that they saw that they fled, and that Saul and his sons were dead, then they forsook their cities and fled, and the Philistines came and dwelt in them. And it came to pass on the morrow, when the Philistines came to strip the slain, that they found Saul and his sons fallen in Gilboa. And when they had stripped him, they took his head and his armor, and sent into the land of the Philistines round about to carry tidings unto their idols and to the people. And they put his armor in the house of their God and fastened his head in the temple of Dagon. And when all Jabush Gilead heard all that the Philistines had done to Saul, there arose all the valiant men and took away the body of Saul and the bodies of his son and brought them to Jabesh and buried their bones under the oak in Jabesh and fasted seven days. So Saul died for his transgressions, which he committed against the Lord, even against the word of the Lord, which he kept not. And also for asking counsel of one that had a familiar spirit to inquire of it, and inquired not of the Lord. Therefore he slew him and turned the kingdom into David, the son of Jesse. Chapter 11. Then all Israel gathered themselves to David unto Hebron, saying, Behold, we are thy bone and thy flesh. And moreover, in time past, even when Saul was king, thou was he that led us out and brought us in Israel. And the Lord thy God said unto thee, Thou shalt feed my people Israel, and thou shalt be ruler over my people Israel. Therefore came all the elders of Israel to the kingdom of Hebron, and David made a covenant with them in Hebron before the Lord, and they anointed David the king over Israel according to the word of the Lord by Samuel. And David and all Israel went to Jerusalem, which is Jabus, where the Jebusites were, the inhabitants of the land. And the inhabitants of Jabus said to David, Thou should not come hither. Nevertheless, David took the castle of Zion, which is the city of David. And David said, Whosoever smiteth the Jebusites first shall be chief and captain. So Joab, the son of Zeruah, Zeruiah went first up and was chief, and David dwelt in the castle. Therefore they called it the city of David, and he built the city round about, even from Milo round about, and Joab repaired the rest of the city. So David waxed greater and greater, for the Lord of hosts was with him. These also are the chief of the mighty men whom David had, who strengthened themselves with him in his kingdom and with all Israel to make him king according to the word of the Lord concerning Israel. And this is the number of the mighty men whom David had. Je Je Jashabim and Hatch Hachmonite, the chief of the captains, he lifted up his spear against 300 slain by him at one time. And after him was Eleazar, the son of Dodo, the Aohite, who was of the three mighties. He was with David at Pasdemim, and there the Philistines were gathered together to battle, where was a parcel of ground full of barley, and the people fled from before the Philistines. And they set themselves in the midst of that parcel and delivered it, and slew the Philistines, and the Lord saved them by a great deliverance. Now three of the thirty captains went down to the rock to David, into the cave of Adullam, and the host of the Philistines encamped in the valley of Raphim. And David was then in the hole, and the Philistines' garrison was then at Bethlehem. And David longed and said, Oh, 
that one would give me drink of the water of the well of Bethlehem that is at the gate. And the three brake through the host of the Philistines and drew water out of the well of Bethlehem that was by the gate and took it and brought it to David. But David would not drink of it, but poured it out to the Lord and said, My God forbid it for me that I should do this thing. Shall I drink the blood of these men that have put their lives in jeopardy? For with the jeopardy of their lives they brought it. Therefore he would not drink it. These things did these three mightiest. And Abishai, the brother of Joab, he was chief of the three for lifting up his spear against three hundred. He slew them and had a name among the three. Of the three, he was more honorable than the two, for he was their captain. Howbeit he attained not to the first three. But now the son of Joadai, the son of a valiant man, of Kat, Kabziel, who had done many acts, he slew two lion like men of Moab. Also, he went down and slew a lion in a pit in a snow, on a snowy day. And he slew an Egyptian, a man of great stature, five cubits high. Look up five cubits. And an Egyptian, and in the Egyptian hand was a spear like a weaver's beam. And he went down to him with a staff and plucked the spear out of the Egyptian's hand, and slew him with his own spear. These things did Benaniah, the son of Joadiah, and had the name among the three mighties. Behold, he was honorable among the thirty, but attained not to the first three. And David set him over his guard. Also the valiant men of the armies were Asuhel, the brother of Joab, Elhanan, the son of Dodo of Bethlehem, Shammah, the Herorite, Helis, the Pelinite, Ara the son of Akash, and the Tekoite, Abiezer the Antithite, Sibakai the Hushathite, Eli the Ahahite, Makarai the Nephtophite, Helad the son of Bahana, the Nephtophite, Ethai the son of Ribai of Gibeah, that pertained to the children of Benjamin, Benai, the Parathonite, Horai, of the brooks of Gesar, Gaash, Abiel, the Albertite, Azimaveth, the Baharumite, Ilahba, the Shaabanite, the sons of Hashem, the Gizanite, Jonathan, the son of Shage, the Hararite, Ahim, the son of Sacor, the Herorite, Hilophil, the son of Ur, Hefer, the Mechorithite, Ahijah, the Pelonite, Hedro, the Carmelite, Naara, Ra, the son of Esbai, Joel, the brother of Nathan, Mibhar, the son of Hegarai, Zilak, the Ammonite, Naharai, the Berothite, the armor bearer of Joab, the son of Zeruiah. Ara, the Ithrite, Gerab, the Ithrite, Uriah, the Hittite, Zabad, the son of Eli, Adina, the Shiz, Adina, the son of Sheza, the Reubenite, a captain of the Reubenites, and thirty with him. Hanan, the son of Maaka, the and Jehoshaphat the Midnight, Ozi the Ashtarite, Shama the Jehiel, the sons of Hothan, the Aurorite, Jediel the son of Shimri and Joha his brother, the Tizite, Eliel the Mahavite, and Jerubai the Josh. Shaviah, the son of Elniam, and Ithma, the Moabite, Eliel, and Obed, and Jazil, the Mesabite. Now, these are they that came to David to Ziklag, while he yet kept himself close because of Saul, the son of Kish, and they were among the mighty men, helpers of the war. They were armed with bows and could use both the right hand and the left in hurling stones and shooting arrows out of a bow, even Saul's brethren of Benjamin. The chief was Ahaziah, 
Then Joash, the son of Shema, the Gibeathite, and Jeziel, the Pelet, the son of the sons of Azamavet, and Barakah, the and Jehu, the Antithite, and Ishmael, the Gibeonite, a mighty man among the thirty and over the thirty, and Jeremiah, and Jehaziel, and Johanan, and Jezebad, the Gibeon the Ruthite. Eluzai, and Jeremoth, and Bil Lahab, and Shemariah, and Shiphtatai, the Horophite, Elkanai, and Jezui, and Azareel, and Joezer, and Jashabim, the Korites, and Jola, and Joella, and Zebediah, the son of Jeroham of Gedor, and the Gid Gidites there separated themselves unto David into the whole of the wilderness, men of might, and men of war fit for the battle that could handle shield and buckler, whose faces were like the faces of lions and were as swift as the rose upon the mountains. Ezer the first, Obadiah the second, Eliab the third, Mishmana the fourth, Jeremiah the fifth, Atai the sixth, Eliel the seventh, Johanan the eighth, Elzabad the ninth, Jeremiah the tenth, Machbani the eleventh. These were the sons of Gad, captains of the host. One of the least was over a hundred, and the greatest over a thousand. These are they that went over Jordan in the first month when he had overthrown all his banks, overflown all his banks, and they put to flight all them of the valleys, both toward the east and toward the west. And there came of the children of Benjamin and Judah to the, to the hold unto David. And David went out to meet them and answered and said unto them, If ye be come peacefully unto me to help me, mine heart should be knit unto you. But if ye be come to betray me to mine enemies, seeing there is no wrong in my hands, the God of our fathers looked thereon and rebuked it. Then the spirit came upon Amasai, who was chief of the captains, and he said, Thine are we, David, and on thy side, thou son of Jesse. Peace, peace be unto thee, and peace be to thine helpers. For thy God helpeth thee. Then David received them and made them captains of the band. And there fell some of Manasseh, to David when he came with the Philistines against Saul to battle, but they helped them not, for the lords of the Philistines upon advisement sent them away, saying, He will fall to his master, Saul, to the jeopardy of our heads. As he went to Ziklag, there fell to him of uh, Manasseh, Adna, and Josabad, and Jediel, and Michael, and Josadad, Bad, and Elihu, and Zilthi, captains of the thousands that were of Manasseh. And they helped David against the band of the rovers, for they were mighty, all mighty men of valor and were captains in the host. For at the time, day by day, there came to David to help him until it was a great host, like the host of God. And these are the numbers of the bands that were ready, armed to the war and came to David to Hebron to turn the kingdom of Saul to him according to the word of the Lord. The children of Judah that bare shield and spear were 6,800, ready armed to war. Of the children of Sibion, mighty men of valor for the war, 7,100. Of the children of Levi, 4,600. And Johada the, was the leader of the Aaronites, and with them were 3,700. And Zadak, a young man, mighty of valor, and of his father's house, 20 and two captains. And of the children of Benjamin, the kindred of Saul, three thousand, for hitherto the greatest part of them had kept the ward of the house of Saul. And of the children of Ephraim, twenty thousand and eight hundred men of valor, famous throughout the house of their fathers. And of the half tribe of Manasseh, eighteen thousand, which were expressed by name to come and make David king. And of the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the times to know what Israel ought to do. The heads of them were 200, and all their brethren were at their commandment. Of Zebulon, such as went forth to battle, 
expert in war with all instruments of war, 50,000, which could keep rank. They were not of double heart. And of Naphtali, a thousand captains, and with them shield and spear, 30 and 7,000. And of the Duntites, expert in war, 20 and 8,600. And of Asher, such as went forth to battle, expert in war, 40,000. And of the other side of Jordan and Reubenites and of the Gittites of the half of the Manasseh, with all men of instruments of the war of the battle, and hundred and twenty thousand. All these men of war that could keep rank came with the perfect heart of Hebron to make David king over all Israel, and all the rest of Israel were one heart to make David king. And there they were with David three days, eating and drinking, for the brethren had prepared for them. Moreover, they that were nigh them, even unto the Ishakar and Zebulon and Nephtali, brought bread and on asses and on camels and on mules and on oxen and meat, mill, cakes of figs and bunches of raisins and wine and oil and oxen and sheep abundantly. For there was joy in Israel. John chapter 6, verse 45 through 71. It is written in the prophets, and they shall be all be all taught of God. Every man, therefore, that hath heard and hath learned of the Father, cometh unto me. Not that any man hath seen the Father, save he which is of God. He hath seen the Father. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he hath believed on me, hath everlasting life. I am the bread of life. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven, that a man may eat thereof and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. And if any man eat of the bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. The Jews, therefore, strove among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. As the living Father hath sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. This is that bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat manna, and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. These things said he in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. Many therefore of his disciples, when they heard, had heard this, said, This is a hard saying. Who can hear it? But Jesus knew and except that the disciples murmured at it. He said unto them, Doth this offend you? What if I, if ye shall see the Son of Man, ascend up where he was before? It is the Spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. But there are some of you that believe not. For Jesus knew from the beginning who were that believe not and who should betray him. And he said, Therefore I said unto you, that none that no man can come unto me except it be it were given unto him of my father. For that time many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Then said Jesus unto the twelve, Will ye also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom should we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life, and we believe and are sure that thou art that Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus answered them, Have not I chosen you twelve, and none of you is and one of you is a devil? He spake of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, for it was that it for he it was that should betray him, being one of the twelve.